when you've got 28 children in your class, it's very difficult um, in terms of, say, a science experiment or if you're trying to model something and you'd have a whole, you'd try and do it with everyone in a big circle and not everyone could see. It was always a mission manage, management-wise. Some mathematical problems for you to solve and I want you discussing these problems with a buddy and then I'll choose people that can come and demonstrate their strategies on the visualiser. Now the first problem that we have here is this one. We've got 16 caterpillars and one quarter of the caterpillars go on each leaf of the swan plant. So how many caterpillars need to go on each leaf? So that's the problem we need to solve. I want you to just turn to a buddy. I'm going to give you two seconds to discuss what you would do. For maths it's a great way for the children to model the strategies that they're using and other children can see that really clearly um, on the screens. Um, I was thinking in my head to have the 16 into a 8 and the 8. Okay, who thinks they know why Freya is halving the 16 first? With the visualiser, we can put everything right there underneath and, and it's there for all to see on the big screen, so it makes it a lot, a lot easier for the children to actually see and to model, um, model learning. They've um, been quite motivated, I think. It's motivated them in their learning, um, and they know that the visualiser is part of the classroom, a tool that they can use in the classroom now um, to share their learning with other children.